Okay, here's a brief introduction of uh, simple usage in R. Uh, R is basically an environment. You can treat it like a s simple calculator. So 2 plus 2 here, you will, if you run it, give you 4. And you can also do uh, what's uh, a bit more complicated uh, calculation, like uh, this is the uh, square of 3. So 3 to the 2th power, or you can send this as 3 to the 5th power, and then it will do 3 to the 5th power. I, I also have some, uh, uh, by default, it gave you some value like pi, 3.14, so uh, square of pi, you can also do this. <coughs> now, uh, this is another example, say, 5 to the third power. Um, so in fact, uh, basically, those uh, simple, uh, 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 say, uh, calculation like uh, 5 minus 2, that should be 3, uh, 5 divided by 2, this should be 2.5. So in R Studio, if you uh, highlight anything, click run, and then you will find at the bottom at the console part, that's the result. And you can also see on the right hand, uh, at the upper right corner, they say a workspace. That's that's where the many of the value are stored in the computer memory. So in this case, if I say click, clear all, and are you sure? Yes, clear all. Then you won't see anything. And after we run, uh, after we run some code, you will see more values there. So, uh, so we have do uh, plus minus divide and times. Now divide a uh, phi, say phi. You put a, a x three. That is not going to work. This is actually the wrong. It, the time is really uh, the star symbol here. So that's a times. So, so. And phi and time phi, that's phi to the third power. And you can also use a natural log. Uh, the natural log is not ln, it's log here. Exponential function is also divide, uh, designed here. And so that's exponential of pi. Exponential of 0, that should be 1. And you can also do a square root, sq rt of pi as qrt of 100 has to be 10. And 100 to the uh, 0.5th power, that's basically a square of 100. Square root of 100, that's 10. So now uh, here's the interesting part. Uh, so now we are actually assign something to a variable inside of computer. So x equal 1 to 10. Now if you look at the right hand side, there is x there, you click on that, it's actually x1 to 10. So this is basically, now the equal sign here means assignment, means that now there is a variable or object called x will stay inside of a computer memory. So when to, uh, so it's, it's, you can picture something, if you don't, uh, uh, so the right hand side, 1 to 10 will be assigned to a variable on the left hand side. If you if we don't do the assignment, you can basically picture as everything run through it and so through the thing without collecting it. So this time we so by assignment so we run this uh, right hand side we actually put into an uh, object x we call it x just give it a name so we can go back and check it uh, it's inside of computer memory it's x here. So if you do this, uh, well, let, let's do 1 to 15. If you just run to 1 to 15, uh, we run it, 1 to 15, but there's nothing has been collected in the memory. On the hand, if we say z, you go to 1, 1 to 15. If we run this, yes, now you see there is an extra uh, object called z occurred here. So. You click on that, you see z is 1 to 15 here. Okay, so now the, the 
one of the interesting feature of the R Studio is it, it can you can actually just highlight uh, a part of the code and run because the pound sign basically tells computer to ignore this line anything after the pound sign. So so this is the common if I just run pound sign Spellman one two one oh six nothing happens. But if I just highlight this part, say Spellman equal one two one oh six, I run now this time you actually see Spellman is an uh, object occurred in the menu. So this is a part of the uh, uh, so this you probably don't appreciate now it's actually very useful when you are uh, doing a large project. So now, uh, now actually we are introduced some default function of R. So now we say x equal three to ten. So I run this again. So this, so remember x used to be three to ten. I, I run a new this new line of code. Now if you check the memory, it's not three to ten. So it has been override. So if you want to update x, that's what you want to do. That's okay. If you if you want to use the original one to ten, you shouldn't use the same name. Basically, if you use the same name, it will override uh, the, the 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 previous value. So this this is a usage of R function. This is an example of R function. So here we call a function called length. Oh, uh, it should be length. This is R function. To call R function, uh, everything is a smooth parenthesis. So this is how an uh, interface to a R function is. So we call length of x. This should return eight because there are eight element in x. Um, x is three to ten, which is there are eight numbers there. Um, this. Uh, when you want to look for helps, let's say we want to for help for this command, say sequence, we, you can type the question mark and followed by the function name, and then you can look at the this window. The on the right hand the bottom, you say there's a help. It's also package plot or file, and but if you go to help, and that's now you see there's a help uh, page on the sequence. You can also directly type the help command with a smooth parenthesis with sequence there. And we can also look at the function of length, see what it does. And now we actually uh, go with some. Uh, uh, let's see whether I have the y there. Y is not there, so yeah, so. I have not assigned uh, any value of y here. If you um, look at this window, there's no y there. So if you if you want to use something that's not assigned, it will return the error. Now, here uh, here's an interesting uh, example. This is a uh, so computer language is not exactly uh, you can't picture it a, a strictly mathematical form uh, form here. So here I do something called x and see what x is. x is a 3 to 10. And then I say x 3 plus 1. This should be 4 to 11. But, when, but if you do this, you see the x. It is the, the original x is still 3 to 10. It hadn't changed. But if I do say x plus 1 and then uh, assign it to x. So basically this form. Uh, it's kind of when you, you if you never programming before this will kind of a shocking or counting to chip to you. Uh, x equal x plus one. What this means is I'm going to add a one to x. This on the right hand side, and then the the equal means assignment, and then I will put this x plus one into x on the left hand side. So I have to run this code. The value of x should be changed. So if, if I click on here again, oh, now x is a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So be, remember before it is uh, uh, 3 to 10. Right? So this means assignment. 
uh, you can do some uh, exercise or self assignment here. And now, uh, one of the main advantage of R is really its plotting function. So this means plot y over x. Well, there's no y here. Let's say y equal x plus 4, and then we plot x. Right. So this is basically, by default, is a point plot. So when we say y uh, tilde x here, the y will be on the vertical axis, and the x is on the horizontal axis. Right. If we flip it, plot x to the y, and the x here, in this case, x is on the vertical x, y is on horizontal x. Um, there are many commands in R, a uh, plotting function, and they are, it's so complicated, actually there are books to talk about <laughs> how to do plot in R. Uh, so one of the very useful parameter is called man. The man basically uh, give a title to the plot function. That when, I'm, when I say main go first plot, let me run this. That first plot, and then I can do second plot. Now, after I do second, if you look at this plot uh, plots window, you see there's a back arrow, uh, going back arrow. And you click on that, whoops, it go back to your first plot. And once you go back to the first plot, you can also see there's a forward arrow. You click on that, that goes to your second plot. What, this is actually very useful when you are doing a project, when you compare several results, you can go in back and forth, look at the different figures to, to see how the results are uh, uh, compared. So, and, and we can look at the help function to see uh, plot. Oh, there are many plots. General XY plot. Plot XY. Actually, the, this way, y to the x is actually really a shorthand. Uh, it's a syntax, it's like x is first, comma, then y. But if you do x to the y, and the function also recognizes it. And we also another uh, parameter called type. So by default, by default it, it's plotting p for point. But you can also choose other type. So for example, if we say choosing plot y over uh, uh, tilde x and with a main called line plot. Actually, this is a line dot plot, line point plot with type D. And there's also a, a parameter called PCH. Uh, actually, it's not showing here. PCH is actually show the point, uh, uh, the data point uh, there. That's what, PCH means it's a solid run dot. Uh, 19, PCH 19 means it's a solid run dot. This is type D. If you change that to type L, and then it should be just a, a straight line. Yeah, uh, but time B seems to be a more pretty here, so let's leave it at time B here. And now, so, so before we only use the uh, 1, 2, 10 as the integer, but you can actually specify array using this command, uh, C, uh, with, with some uh, value. I'm not sure what a C, my, my understanding is either for container or collection or concatenation or something. But it has to follow by the smooth parentheses, and then all the number here has to separate by a uh, comma. So we can, if we do this, the x should be also changed. x, and then uh, you can actually put y here. I, I think I should also put an example, say, if I want to see 4 to 6, 3 to 5. If I want to see x go the second element, that's point 0.3. I want to see the first element, the fifth element, 
and then the second element. And you can double check whether that's correct or not. That's point 0.1. The first one is point 0.1. The fifth one should be 5.0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The fifth element is indeed 5. So, and this is just another plotting function to see how it works. And in fact, you are more adventurous. Uh, we can change this PCH equal to uh, 19. Then it becomes solid or not. Okay.